you've got an appointment with the interns on Friday. No one said anything about cancer. No one had to. I imagine you're wondering why a doctor brought you your breakfast. I know why. Oh. <laughs> Intermittent episodes of unconsciousness. See what I'm explaining that for the cheap seats? You'll go into a series of comas, each one progressively deeper, longer. Then, uh... Then I go into a coma and stay there. The interns. It's about what it's all about. Any questions? I'm a go-go dancer. I am a contemplative monk. Do you know what that is? Sure. You contemplate about things. Yes. And we also farm. Oh, oh, that's smart. Always good to have something to fall back on. <laughs> oh, man, I think that's enough for you today. We don't want to try and dispense her out. Besides, I have to take her a temperature and call us a little privacy would be appreciated. Since when do you need privacy to take a temperature and pulse? It's a silly question coming from a married man. Anything for dessert? Mm-hmm. Me. <laughs> Stranger, aren't you used to having a nigger? Negro. It's pronounced Negro. I'm going to give you a choice. Let's see. One, maybe I'm a racist and a bigot. Two, maybe I want you to learn how to control your temper. And three, maybe I want you to help the brother to learn how to pronounce certain words he's not familiar with. While you've been meditating for 43 years, we've been in three major wars. Political assassination is a fact of life, almost a habit. We've been going to hell in high gear and have been for quite some time. And what have you been doing about it? We've been praying. That doesn't count with me. I haven't been praying to you. Whatever you think, make it fast. I think he's got cancer. The interns, five young lives on a critical course. Let me tell you about operations. All right, doctor, I've heard your act. Unless you got some funny songs and snappy patter to finish up with, I'd advise you to get out of here. No! You know what an operation is? It's a stabbing. When the guy wants to die, when it's an act of compassion... A benevolent stabbing, but a stabbing nevertheless. Can you get into the drug cabinet? Nothing on this floor but the shattered hopes of a thousand idealistic med students. The circumstances beyond our control. The previously scheduled life has been canceled. Her husband is dead. No. Oh, they, 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 they said it would be months. He was poisoned. Greg, Greg, you said you wouldn't. You said, you told me you turned him down. No, you told me you wouldn't do it. You knew me you wouldn't do it. Why? It's about what it's all about.